Now sneaking up behind me. What up, food tubers? Mr. Oliver here with the lovely Hannah from My Drunk Kitchen. Hello. Come on. Hello. Nice to have you back. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah, we're going to do something special today, aren't we? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. We are going to cook. Go on, you tell them. Spotted dick. Oh, yes. Don't be worried. Please, this is old school British puddings. Let's show a picture of what the final spotted dick looks like. Uh, we'll voice over it. Kay. Look at that. Oh, it's spongy. Oh, hello, oh. beautiful. That's a dick I want to eat. Yes. So now you've seen what you're going to get. OK, so it's beautiful, yeah? Yeah. Let's make the recipe. I've got a pan on here of boiling water, uh, a nice big pan. We have uh, 300 grams of self-raising flour. In America, I don't know if you have self-raising flour. No, our, our flour all has very low self-esteem. It's okay. more like uh, <laughs> self-belittling flour. You might have to put some raising agent in it. It's the yeast you could do. Um, the yeast, that was good. Okay, we're gonna have suet. It's the fat from around the kidney oh. of, of an animal. You'd have this as well. Um, in my body? Yes. Uh, what animal is this from? Uh, this is from beef. From beef? Yep. We need 150 grams of fat. In a modern day sense, they often use 150 grams of butter. Butter, I barely know her. <laughs> Spotted dick. I want you to get your hands in there and just rub it all together. OK, great. So 300 grams self-raising flour, uh, 150 grams of fat. It could be all butter. I've gone for 50-50 suet and butter for flavor and texture. The next bit is 75 grams of granulated sugar. Mm. Carry on rubbing, my darling. This is the most my hands have rubbed a dick in years. That's, that's a good technique going on. <laughs> is this how right you do there. it? Yes, you're doing just fine. Okay, if you'd like to stir in 180 millilitres... That means nothing to me. ...of semi-skimmed milk. You're kind of making a batter. <laughs> uh, a pinch of salt. This will just give a uh, wonderful seasoning. Traditionally, the spotted part would be little currants. But now, if you go to an average supermarket, they have these lovely golden sultanas, bilberries, blueberries, sour cranberries, black currants, and traditional currants. We should do like a like magic shot. Run our hands over it. Hopefully this will work in the edit. We'll yeah. go, Ooh. I don't think the audience are going to tell the difference. I'm going to use that in all my shows as yeah. of now. Uh -huh. Just put a little bit of boiling water over the top, let them swell. Uh, I'm going to add my spot to your dick. Now we go into an old-fashioned British pudding bowl. This one here has a bit in the middle, which speeds it up. Oh. Um, but you could use a traditional straight bowl. Yeah, straight you, bowl, you, gay you, bowl. You, you want it. You yeah. put your dick where you want. <laughs> we can just slap it in there yes, and then please. here we go. We have a bit of greaseproof paper here, which has been buttered. Uh, this gets pushed on top. You don't have to lubricate, but I would recommend it, because then it comes off nice and easy. <coughs> Tie it here. So do one knot, but then do another knot. When you go tight, yeah. it stays tight. So you, you can have a lot of movement involved, and it won't budge an inch. Yes, 100%. <gasps> Beautiful. So. Wow. Now that's a knot. Can I do a walk with it? Yeah. OK, count me in. Five, six. Seven, eight, and catwalk, and sassy, and Jamie is so sassy. Hey, look at that spotted dick. It's tied up so good. Uh, wow, beautiful. Oh my god, that's a knot. Now, drop it in some boiling water. Camera, follow. Oh, no, stop, stop. Oh, you need to put the newspaper yes. in. Yes. I didn't want the bottom getting crispy. We're going to put this in the bottom, and then we put this on top. We just get some foil. This particular one, because it's got the thing in the middle, we go for about an hour and a half. In a conventional bowl, mm -hmm. we would steam it for about just over two hours. Mm -hmm. Do a double wrap. Foiled again. Or for the first time. This is the first time we've ever foiled this. Turn it down to a gentle simmer. OK. And that's basically it. So maybe I should take this. Yeah. All right, guys. One, two, three. Da-na-na. Da-na! -na. Da -na! Forget cooking. We should do magic. So here we go. OK, here we go. Take, take, just take the lid off. <sighs> Yes, unsheath the spotted dick now. Unsheath it. Oh yeah, that's what we got. We got raised there, guys. Let's go. One, two, three. For the first time, I really just want this dick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. And ooh, ooh. Yes, go for it and pass it to me straight away. Oh, oh. yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah. I think that this dick I needs some cream. We're gonna go in with some custard in the hole. Oh, I love it. Oh, that is gorgeous. Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> so. It smells really good. I'm actually just very excited to eat this. No, 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 no. Before you say anything, just chew that spotted bit. Just chew that spotted bit. Mmm. Just let it rotate around your mouth. Oh, my Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this was dicklicious. 
So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked it, please like it, share it on your social media. And if you want to check out the lovely Hannah's channel, My Junk Kitchen, then that box over there somewhere, click it. Go on, click it. What are we doing? Jamie will be there, and he'll be helping me premiere the very first recipe for my new book, My Junk Kitchen, A Guide to Gut Instincts. Mm. We're going to make the heart witch. Interesting. Great. Click over there. Thanks. Bye-bye. Fashion with Jay and Hay. It's all about confidence. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go around our dick. That dick is flaming. Oh. <sighs> okay. I'm glad we got that out of there.